How's everybody doing? This is your boy Chapu from Chaps for Jesus. So here's a follow-up. The Mingda D2 was a big flop. The only reason they sent me the machine, they were expecting me to give it a 5 out of 5 rating because they were getting bad reviews on Amazon. They were expecting me to help promote a bad machine. 3 out of 3 on 3 different unboxings. Don't work. Not my fault. This is an SD file that was specifically made for this machine. That's how bad it came out. And then when I told them about this, nobody could figure out why. Okay, not an issue. Then I proceeded to watch a video that's on the SD card that tells you um, how to set up Cura, how to enable certain things, a PLA profile, activate it, print this with a certain support, make sure that if you lift the item off the Cura plate, it drops to make sure it's activated properly. That was crap. Then I tried to print this Benchy. All right, I uh, don't know what that was about, but then I went ahead and tried to print this Benchy. So, and then I, you know, in my mind, something clicked. That's cooling, something's wrong. And lo and behold, it's missing a cooling port. This thing here. I printed it on my Creality. So now I printed it in red on purpose so you can see what's missing. That's a big important piece to miss, don't you think? So now, they asked me, so what do you think about the machine? I said, I'd give it a three out of five. They were like, what? You're gonna give it a three out of five, send it back. I spent 300 US dollars on that machine. I'm like, why did you spend 300 US dollars when Amazon has it on sale for 199.99? And then on top of that, it has a 5% discount. And then on top of that, if it's your company, you could have bought it at cost. And then, now that they want me to send it back, they called me so many times up until almost four o'clock in the morning after I told them to stop, after I told them that I'd send it back to Amazon, after I told them that I'd report it back to Amazon, and I did. See, that box came in that box. And then they're telling me, no, that has nothing to do with Amazon. You gotta send it to some guy in Texas. What does that say? Amazon. Okay, not a problem. So, it came in that box, right? Mingda. On an Amazon box. So now, I'm getting phone calls from a Teresa that I never gave my phone number to, from a Wenny that I never gave my phone number to, from some other guy that I never gave my phone number to and some other random person. So four people that I have no idea who they are now have my name, phone number, and address. And all because they got bad reviews on Amazon on their product. It's not my fault. If you send three machines in three separate boxes on three separate orders and three separate times, three things, I'm sorry, things are going wrong I'm sorry man that's beyond my control you got to talk to your employees you got to talk to your quality control and then to harass me at all hours of the night I told her I said then send me a return label I'll send it back I don't want it I didn't want it to begin with matter of fact long story short they had no reviews no YouTube's right I told them, I said, listen, I'm a nobody, but I'm willing to give it a shot. If you want to send me a machine, I can try it, give it a review, you could take it back. And I was trying to work something out with them. Nope. They laughed because I didn't have 100,000 reviews, this and that. Not one person, and they've been around since 2009, not one person 
as an online positive review. Not one. Thanks. Watch. I'm going to put you on a blank. Sorry, because I don't want you guys to see my login information. I'm just going to my Amazon. And I'm just going to show you what I mean about their reviews. These are all reviews done by random people, not me. I, <laughs> I don't pay people to give reviews. I can't afford to. Shoot, I don't even have 100,000 viewers. Mingda. There you go. Amazon, and that's their D3 Pro, which was a joke. Out of eight reviews, it has a two star rating. Out of four reviews, it's barely breaking threes. So how are you telling me you pay 300 US dollars when I can go and buy it myself for 199? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> and then to proceed and tell me that now she can't afford to buy rice or food. Thank you. Look at that. I don't know who Adam is, but Adam returned it. Right off the bat. Yeah. Having issues. No, just, uh, not. Already breaking, so it was returned. Not bad. Yes. And a lot of these, if you read them, they have like broken English, so it almost sounds like an employee did it just to get it going. But here's a D3 Pro. <laughs> Mingda. D3 Pro. And what's funny is they were being slick. At one point, there was 12 reviews on each of these machines, <laughs> which was a lie. What they were doing is they were combining them so it looked like more and more people were buying them. No. <clears throat> Bad quality. That was extremely low quality. Another person about a broken bed. Another person. <laughs> I mean, I can't make this stuff up. And then <clears throat> when I told her that I could not give it a five star rating, she gets so mad and proceeds to say then send it back, send it to my friend in Texas. I'm not sending it to anybody in Texas. You delivered it to me from Amazon. I'm sending it back to Amazon and Amazon is gonna return them the funds to the original form of payment. I got to deal with that. You got to deal with that. I am I like, I'm concerned guys. Like under, like I wish you would understand four people that I have no idea who they are in China, know my name, address, and phone number, my email address, and then some random guy that they know in Texas, who's one plane flight away, two hours drive, to where I'm at. So four hours, if he wanted to, can show up at my doorstep for a printer that I never asked for. For a printer that I told her that I didn't want it, but she insisted, please, you don't understand. The review that you gave us was bad. It's not just me though. It's not just me. <clears throat> it's not just me. Bad quality, <clears throat> extremely low quality, dissatisfied, potentially good, does not work as advertised. My second and third, <laughs> not saying nothing. Okay. So there you have it, folks. <clears throat> and then on top of that, they were calling me till four o'clock in the morning, harassing me about not calling Amazon, not letting Amazon know. I am gonna let Amazon know. I am gonna let the world know because you know what? If I disappear, all jokes aside, I don't have enemies. I don't. I get along with my baby mamas. I get along with my friends in school and all this and that. I have no enemies. 
just <clears throat> hang on just to show you something because i don't want to get too personal Look at this. Look at this. I'm still going. Look at that. Till almost four o'clock in the morning, they were calling me. And I'm letting them know, like, listen, all jokes aside, I'm sending it back and I'm notifying Amazon. I'm letting them know what you're doing, you're harassing me. I'm not giving it a five out of five rating because it doesn't deserve a five out of five. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying, guys? And as for the course of hours, and the reason why I didn't want to block it is because I want to show you how far they're willing to go. And then on top of that, they make it seem like they have like this posse of supervisors where I better be careful. Number one, I don't answer to nobody but to my U.S. government. Where are they at? Right here. Zhang and Wenny. <clears throat> They make it seem like I'm missing out. Oh, take the one back from Ephraim and give it back to someone else who wants it. Let them want it. I don't care who wants it. I didn't want it. I seriously didn't want it. And this is another meeting that they created. And they have all these fake chats that they virtually create. Hang on. And then now they have someone, Matthew Gee, friend requesting me. I don't know who that is. I don't need you harassing me because you sent me three bad machines on three separate occasions when you saw how many bad reviews from random people on Amazon. Let me see if I can find a bad report that I saw. Sorry, folks. I don't have much help here. So I'm just doing a quick search. See if I can find it again. I can't find it. But there was basically a whole forum of people all giving their testimonies on all the stuff that was happening wrong with their printers but yet Mingda doesn't want you to know that I really want to find it because I, I, I want to be as one to one as possible Where's that guy? There was people from Argentina, people from Quebec. I mean, all complaining. See, the mad face. Let's see where it was. Far from workable in quality. Liu Yong Sing. And here's five comments. Far from workable in quality. And that's where I started to find them. There was the guy from Argentina. Anyone? Nico. I think it was him. Mm hmm. It was him. Let me find him. And there's a way to search. Hang on, folks. I know there's a way to search. <clears throat> save your money. Definitely save your money. Get a longer... 
get a Saval. I've had very, very, very good reviews with Saval. Uh, very good experience with Saval. Labists, very good. Yes, number one fan of Longer. I'll admit it. I'm not gonna stand here and be like, no, no, I am. Longer this is my number one. Number two, Saval. Actually, they're tied. <laughs> I can't, I can't stay, I can't sit here and lie. They're tied. They're incredibly tied. It's like equally powered and everything. Oh, that's her food. Anyway, I'll try to find it and update it later, folks. So being that I, I'm not willing to give it a five out of five rating, now they're harassing me. They wanted to send me to send it to some dude in Texas. No, that's not the way I work. You offered it to me for free for an honest review. Not a problem. You want it back because I won't give you a good review? Not a problem. But I'm going to send it to the vendor. I'm not going to send it to your friend in Texas. Now I have people that I never gave permission to call me my phone number. I got people emailing me, messaging me that I never gave permission to do so. I mean, come on, man. That's that's nuts. And even if the vendors, the, the reps at Amazon are in disbelief. So anyway... Keep me in prayer, folks. I don't feel safe. I don't like it. It's nuts. And all over what? A cheap printer. 